All right, so in section two, we're gonna crank it up a notch. I will add some new concepts. We will introduce the database. We'll figure out how routing works. It should be lots of fun. But first, before we get there, let's do a quick technical check-in. Just think of it like a chapter review to make sure that everything I covered was actually committed to memory. And then take the quiz, and once you ace that quiz, only then can you move on to section two. Okay, so let's do our review. And first up, if I want to define a variable, I always begin with a dollar sign. So let's create a variable for a business name. Done. Notice the name is a string, so we surround it in quotes, and then we conclude the statement with a semicolon. Let's make another variable for the cost of Laracast, which is $15 a month. Now, as you can imagine, sometimes we need to gather and group all of these attributes. So in those situations, we can switch over to an array. Business equals an array. The name of the business is Laracas, and the cost of the business, once again, is $15. Now I can access each of those values by doing this, business bracket the name of the key. Next, let's move on to conditionals. Maybe if the monthly cost is too high, we don't want to proceed. We could say if, business cost is greater than, how about $99? In that case, yeah, let's leave the store. Echo, not interested. Easy. All right, let's do another one. What about the categories that are offered as part of the business? For Laracast, that would be things like uh, testing, PHP training, JavaScript training, etc. Next, we want to loop over them. All right, that's easy too. Let's use for each. For each business categories as category, then once again, uh, render it however you need to. In this case, we'll do an echo. Echo the category to the page. But yeah, in real life, you might want to render it as part of a list item or at the very least, add a break. Finally, we reviewed functions. Maybe we need to offer users a way to sign up for our site. Well, in those cases, very likely we'd have a function called register. Maybe that function accepts a user. And now, yeah, you can proceed however is appropriate. So I'll tell you in real life, this will consist of things like create the user record in the database, uh, maybe sign them in. And that would involve something called sessions that we haven't yet reviewed. Uh, maybe you want to send them a welcome email, send a welcome email. Maybe you also need to redirect the user. So they just signed up, let's send them to their dashboard. So redirect to their new dashboard. You get the idea. And in fact, this is often the sorts of things that you will be doing uh, in real life. Okay, so that's functions. Finally, we learned about requires and includes and the importance of separating our logic from the template or the view. So in this case, I have a variable called business and a function called register. Let's now require our view, index.view.php, and that required file will have access to both of these. Okay, so let's come back, and yeah, very quickly, let's echo the business's name. And then let's also include a list of categories that the business provides. All right, easy enough. We could say for each business categories, and we'll call it category. And then I will use the short alternative syntax like so. And yeah, then within a list item, we can echo the category itself. Okay, let's have a look in the browser. And yeah, sure enough, we have our business name as well as an unordered list of categories. And yeah, that'll do it for our rapid fire review of everything we covered in this chapter. So now your job, before you move on to section two, is to take the quiz and make sure that all of this junk was actually committed to memory. A uh, quick note, you will find a link to the quiz in the description below the video on the Laracast website. Uh, you do have to be signed in. You don't have to be a subscriber, but it'd be great if you were. But yeah, just as, as long as you're signed in, even as a guest, you can access the quiz and uh, put your skills to the test. I'll see you in the next video.